What's happening guys? We're in the car again. You know what that means. We're gonna go searching for some Pokemon cards. Now it's Black Friday weekend and a lot of deals are still going on. But instead of going to the big box stores today, I heard that there's a local comic shop that's selling vintage Pokemon singles at half price. So we're gonna go over there and see what they got. Let's go. All right, right off the bat, look at this Zapdos and Moltres. Very cool. We've got the Kanto Starter EXs. Very awesome. A little full art Blastoise and Piplup. Pretty cool. What's down here? Dark Dragonite, Zapdos, Base Set Zapdos. We've got a Hidden Fates Umbreon GX, the shiny one. Very cool. Here comes Team Rocket from Celebrations, a Leafeon GX from Hidden Fates. We've got, oh, the full art rose, a Snorlax from Jungle, that Venusaur EX looks really nice too, and all of the cards in this case are half off of the sticker price here. Now, this was just for Black Friday weekend, but this is the best Black Friday deal that I have found, hands down. Look at these Charizard EXs, that, that XY promo, Empoleon V alternate art. What's down here? Oh, there's a Fossil Zapdos back there, Rayquaza EX, an Umbreon EX, a Rocket's Hitmonchan. Very cool, that Blastoise EX full art. So many awesome cards in here. Oh, look at that Blissey, Neo Revelation. We might have to take a look at that one. That's looking pretty, pretty clean. We're gonna, we might have to pick that one up. Let's see what else they have. All right, so they've got a bunch of binders with all of the cards inside still. Oh, I definitely remember these. I don't know if these were official stickers or not, but I definitely have them. I feel like they came out of a vending machine though, but look at all of these cards. Someone put these in a binder when they collected them over the years and it doesn't look like they have come out since. Some of them are in really great shape, this Gyarados, from Base Set Unlimited looks pretty nice. This Dark Blastoise has a little bit of wear on it. Another Gyarados and a Hollow Polyrath. Very, very awesome. So cool just to see them placed into the binder and still in that original condition from when whoever was collecting them growing up. Oh, look at that. The Umbreon and Espeon from Neo Discovery. One English and two in Japanese. All right, 100 classic Pokemon cards. Now I saw this when I came in, at least one holographic card inside. I think we're gonna have to get this too. Look at this Salamence Delta species. Very cool, but very damaged. All right, guys, that store was incredible. I got some really awesome cards and I got the vintage mystery pack. Let's go home, check out the cards that I got and open up this mystery box. All right, guys, back here in the studio. What an incredible store that was. Tons of retro games, tons of old Pokemon cards, and the best Black Friday deal that I found all weekend, 50% off all of their singles and even more deals on some of their other Pokemon products. So let's check out the cards that I picked up for half off. First of all, let's check out the back here. Very minimal edge damage on this one. A little whitening on the bottom. Other than that, looking very good on this Gyarados Hollow from Base Set Unlimited. There are some scratches on the surface of the Hollow, but for the price of $9, this is one of the better condition Gyaradoses that I have found. Definitely gonna switch this one out with the one I have in my Unlimited binder right now, because this one is looking a lot better. All right, next one that I picked up here, back is looking pristine. A little whitening on the bottom right there. 
Hopefully you can see it there. I want to leave these in the sleeve. A little bit of whitening on the bottom right and on the top there. But other than that, really clean, blissy hollow from Neo Revelations. We even got a little swirl in there. I think I see the edge of one, maybe a little circle there on the side in the hollow. Print line through the front couple of scratches on the hollow surface, but overall, very, very clean card. Pick this one up for $19. Pretty incredible. All right. Next up, we have got a little bit of edge damage on the top right, a little bit on the bottom left, bottom right. Left side's looking okay. A little speck on the bottom left there on this Charizard EX XY promo. XY number 121. This is such a cool Charizard card. You got Flareon on it. You got Magmar on it too. All the Kanto vibes. Couldn't believe that I saw this one in there. I want to say I picked this one up also for around $20 or $21, I think, half off of their listed price. Very, very happy to add this one to the binder. Now... We got some Japanese, some vintage Japanese cards here. A little bit of damage on the top, a little whitening there. Not too bad though. Sides are looking clean, bottom is looking clean on this Feraligator Hollow from what I want to say was called Neo Premium or Neo Premium File, something like that. Very, very clean card. Couple of scratches on the surface of the hollow, as you can see there. But I want to say this one was four or five dollars. So definitely had to grab this for the price. All right. And last, but certainly not least, we got a little more edge damage on the top of this one. The corners are looking really clean. Oh, yeah. All the corners are looking great. A little bit of whitening on the top here on our Japanese Blaine's Charizard Hollow. Some scratches on the hollow surface too, but it's kind of hard to see unless you get really close to it, sort of with a flashlight. Pick this one up for $22. So happy to be adding some awesome vintage cards to my collection at an incredible, incredible price. All right, let's set these aside. Now, the other thing I bought, you saw they had these bags. Now, <laughs> There's only one little piece of tape on the front of the bag. I could have peeked in there if I wanted to, but there's no fun in that. When I saw it was 100 plus classic cards with one holographic, I don't think this bag had price tag on it, but all of their mystery bags were $20 marked down to 15 for the Black Friday sale. So for $15, let's see what we got. Includes one holographic card. So let's I'm just gonna tear. Tear the tape right off here. I wonder if they, I wonder if the hollow is randomly in here. I'm gonna reach in here. Oh, okay. There's a card in a top loader. Okay. This has gotta be the hollow that's in the top loader. We're going to set this right back here for now. Leave that there, nice and safe. And then let's grab these, just make sure yeah, okay, I don't feel any other sleeves. So if that one's in a sleeve, that's got to be the hollow. Look at this stack of cards. I feel like this has to be more than 100, and I'm seeing something at the end there. Might be a tops. Let's just blast through these and see what I got for $15. If I can even hold all these at once. Let's see, we're going to have to split this stack in half. Oh, and I'm seeing some stuff at the end already. Okay. Oops, I hit the camera. All right, there we go. So on the front here, we've got a Jinx, Ghastly, Kingler, Graveler, Fossil. We got a Rocket's Ponyta. Very cool. Rocket Magmite, a Base Unlimited Starmie, non hollow Clefable, a Raichu. We've got Lieutenant Surge's Electrode, Farfetch, Base Set 2, Pokey Shake, I'm, I'm really trying to control the Pokey Shake right now. I love seeing vintage cards, even if they're a little damaged, but these are looking like they're in pretty good shape. The Aerodactyl, Electabuzz, Lieutenant Surge's Rattata, that's awesome, Magmar. We've got a Dratini from Legendary Collection, I want to say. Very sweet, Raticate. Got the Apom, another Rattata. We got Jigglypuff, Lickitung, Golem. Energy, 
Pokemon Center trainer. Very cool. Dodrio, Firo, Persian. Got a Zubat, Vulpix, Eevee. Little damage on that Eevee. Fire energy. A Pidgeotto, a Pidgey, Rhyhorn. This is too, too cool. Rhydon, Seal, Gambler from Fossil. Got Sandslash from Fossil. Geodude from Fossil. I'll tell you a funny story about this Geodude Fossil card. This was the first card that I traded for when I was a little kid in elementary school. And I traded a holographic Venomat, uh, Venomoth <laughs> for it because I had never seen a Geodude card yet. I didn't know that, uh, that I hadn't pulled it yet or I hadn't opened a lot of Fossil yet. But it was a funny memory that I definitely won't forget. We got a Marowak. Kabuto, Coughing, Nidoran Jungle, Executor Jungle, Grimer Fossil, Pincer Jungle, a very awesome Butterfree. Look at that. We got the Poke Pokeball. I think that's the only trainer in Jungle. Blaine's Last Resort, Energy Removal, Bill, and this isn't even the full stack. We've got a non hollow Wigglytuff, Shelder. Articuno Fossil with a little damage on the front there. Still a really awesome card. Poliwag, another energy. We got Tauros, another energy. Psyduck, Goldeen, Super Potion, Energy Search, Full Heal. All right, so that was one part of the stack here. Let's look at this other stack. Pokedex Trainer. Kakuna from base two, another Butterfree, that's awesome. Caterpie, Bulbasaur, we've got a Venonat. Execute, this is so cool, Golbat. What an amazing deal too, $15 for all these cards. If you're someone like me who lost their collection and you're just starting to put it back together, fortunately I've put all of Base Set Unlimited back together. I'm just missing a few hollows from Fossil and Jungle too, but shops that are offering deals like this is a really, really awesome way to rebuild your collection. Diglett, Onyx, Geodude, Professor Oak, Another Geodude. Oh, it's just taunting me. The memory of that trade is just taunting me. We've got Base 2 Energy, Horsey, Cloyster, Goldeen, Omni Knight. A little damage on that one, too. Mankey. We've got a Cubone, and what I'm going to guess are some Tops cards. We've got a Tops Ponyta, a Tops Nidoking. Again, a lot, of, a lot of heavy play on these, and a Movie card. We've got... Krabby from the little Mewtwo Strikes Back movie card promos. This was all a very, very awesome deal for $15. And I want to say now, at the end of this video, hit the link in the description of this video. All of those uh, vintage cards that you just saw me go to are all going to you guys. Oh wait, we almost forgot. We almost forgot what the holo was. Let me finish. All of these cards are going away to you guys. I'm going to bundle them up in maybe three or four card bundles, try to give away as many as possible, but only one person will win whatever this holographic is. Did we just get a holographic Charizard for $15? Let's find out. Oh, hey, hey, it's a Mewtwo though. That's still awesome. Let's see. Is it on the sleeve or is it... It looks like a just a little bit of damage. There's kind of a mark going across the front there. But other than that, a little scratched up. Back is looking decent. Right on Mewtwo Hollow from Base Set Unlimited. Going to you guys. Hit the link in the description of this video. Sign up for the giveaway. I'm going to run the uh, sign up for about a week. Oops, let's see. Will Mewtwo stay up here? Going to run the signups for about a week. So next Wednesday, I'll take it down. And then a week from there, I'll start sending out emails for the giveaway winners. So hopefully you guys are able to grab some of the cards that you wanted out there. Maybe put some vintage back into your binder. But now, because I've been looking at so many vintage cards, you know there's only nine left that I need to complete my Celebrations Master Set. So in the spirit of vintage, let's rip into this ETB, see if we can find some more classic throwback cards. All right. If you remember 
uh, maybe over a month ago now, I got these ETBs pre-ordered from GameStop. They had these big box cutter slashes through them. I was going to return them because I wasn't sure if they were more damaged. If there's a box cutter slash through the front, maybe something else is wrong with them. So I was a little leery. I ended up opening the first one, had some great pulls out of it. So I decided let's just open this one up too and see what we got. Even though the plastic is already cut here, we'll still hit it with the Pikachu pin for a little bit of good luck. We'll just cut the back there a little bit. Let's cut this side too. Let's get the luck all over this ETB. Here we go. Pikachu pin. Hopefully today is the day. Still need the Umbreon Star. Still need the Charizard base set reprint. The Cleffa, the Xerneas. I still need a flying Pikachu VMAX. Not sure how I haven't pulled that one yet. All right, all of your typical ETB contents, sleeves, player's guide. Let's take a look at our Greninja Gold Star promo. Now, once again, this isn't a reprint card. This is one of like the kind of tribute cards they made where they took a newer Pokemon and put it on a card from an older series. So we've got a Gold Star Greninja looking very clean. Let's set this aside right here. Five packs of regular cards, 10 packs of celebrations. But you know me, I always count just to be sure. So we for sure got five regular packs here. Let's get this out of the way. Make sure we got 10 celebrations inside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do it. But you know, we got to start with these regular packs. Now, I think I've actually had a couple of decent pulls from the extra packs included with the ETBs. But like I've been saying for all of celebration, mentally, I've just kind of ignored those packs. I'm not assuming to pull anything from the extra little packs inside, but it would be very nice. Fire Energy, Vivid Voltage, we're looking for that Rainbow Pikachu. We got a Shuckle, Fampy, Duskull. Now the Pokey Shake happens after I was holding all the vintage. Mudbray, oh, Cottony in our amazing rare spot. Can we still get a hit? We got a Pikachu V Max, all right. It wasn't the rainbow rare, but still really, really awesome. All right, had a slight little camera malfunction there. Got a little too excited and knocked everything off of my desk. We got the Pikachu V Max from the celebrations ETB going into a sleeve. Can't believe that I went all of Vivid Voltage without pulling this guy. And now within the last few random packs of Vivid Voltage, I think I've pulled him three times, two or three times now. Let's keep it going. We got Darkness Ablaze here, code card for you. Wondering if we will keep seeing the Darkness Ablaze code card error. Here we go. Fire Energy, Steeny, Furret, Yellhorn, Aaron, A. Aaron, Cub Chew, Rowlet. We got a Jigglypuff, Diglett. Toros for our reverse and a non hollow Hippodon for our rare. All right, Chilling Rain. We're looking for that Blaziken V Max Alt Art. I'm also looking for that Shadow Rider Calyrex V Alt Art as well. I pulled the Shadow Rider V Max Alt, and I gotta say, one of my favorite modern Alt Art cards. Electric Energy, Willipede, Cybold. We got Larion, Ladybug, Golit. Clavopus, Cast Form, Snowy Form, Hatina, Go Lurk for our Reverse, and a non hollow Walrein for our Rare. Nothing from Chillin' Rain this time. Battle Styles. You know, you already know, we're still looking for that Sleepy Tyranitar. Any of the Tyranitars would be cool. I'd even be happy with the plain old V Tyranitar. Four to the front for Battle Styles. Haven't seen a Battle Styles code card error yet. Lucky Leaf Energy, Golbat. Energy Recycler, Urn of Vitality, Gligar, Electabuzz, Bellsprout, Bronzor, Murkrow, Golbat again for our reverse, hiding a non hollow Salazzle for our rare. Okay, last regular pack from the ETB Darkness Ablaze. We are looking for a Charizard V Max or a Rainbow Rare Butterfree V Max. Would be really cool. Here we go. Psychic Energy, Ursa Ring, Rose Tower, Simiseer, Clink, Ducklet, Mareep, Paris, 
Gothi to Snoobal for our reverse and a non hollow Del Caddy for our rare. Okay, let's get these regular cards out of the way. 10 packs of celebrations. Can I complete the cards that I am missing for the master set? Nine of them left. I always feel like I'm bending them. I know I say this every single time, but Feels like you can't open these without bending them. All right, Cosmog, Yvettel, birthday Pikachu. I'm so happy to pull this one again, right on birthday Pikachu from the classic collection. What are you hiding? A hollow Solgaleo. There is the code for you. Birthday Pikachu going into a sleeve. Bam, right on. Already very happy with this ETB, and we're only one pack in to the celebrations. We got nine packs left. Oh, I'm bending them. I feel like I'm bending them. Here we go. Every time I say I'm gonna get scissors out for this, and then I never do, because I think maybe scissors looks kind of weird. Cosmoem, Grodon. We've got the Dark Gyarados. Yes, this was one that I needed for the master set, Dark Gyarados from the Classic Collection on the second pack from the Chopped Up ETB. What is Dark Gyarados hiding? A Zama Zenta V. There's the code for you, right on. Adding Dark Gyarados to the binder. Bam, what an awesome card too. Here we go, let's keep it going. Hopefully, hopefully we just didn't hit all the, the good packs out of here right from the start. Zekrom, Lugia, oh, I saw the red and thought it was the Zard, Ho-Oh, and a full art Pikachu, my favorite card from Celebrations. I now have two complete uh, binder pages of Pikachus. Here we go. Let's keep it going here. Getting a little, getting a little better at opening Celebrations. Bam, Kyogre, Xerneas, and a Blastoise hollow. There we go. I saw the blue and knew it was the Stoice. What is Blastoise hiding? Another non hollow. So Galio, there is the code. All right. Very stoked with this ETB so far. I'm going to have to get more sleeves out, hopefully. Let's drop Blastoise into a sleeve. Bam. All right. Let's keep it going. Not sure how much kind of debating if I want to try to pull every single Celebrations card. I think I do. I've opened quite a bit of it already. I only need a few more. I do kind of want to trade for what I'm missing. Oh, Palkia hiding a another full art Pikachu. I love it. Bam. I'm going to have a third binder page full of Pikachus by the time I'm done opening Celebrations. I do have a few more products left to open. I have two more mini tins that I need to open to complete the mini tin artwork little card set and I need to open the Dragapult Prime box too because I really like the little binder that's inside. Cosmoem, Zekrom, oh once again I saw the red. What is Ho-Oh hiding? A surfing Pikachu V right on. There's the code for you. We'll set our Pikachu V off to the side here. Couple packs left. Then I'm probably going to spend the rest of the night just uh, staring at all of these cards that I picked up from the shop. Very cool. And uh, just because you guys know me, very transparent, uh, they didn't ask me to do a video and they definitely didn't pay me anything to uh, say nice things about them. I really do enjoy that shop. And what was cool is that even uh, the stuff they were selling, oh, once again, the red, even the stuff they were selling uh, that wasn't at a discount still was at a really, really awesome price. And I really like to support shops that are also supporting collectors. There is another shop uh, in the area that I live in that has some letters and numbers in its name. Maybe you guys can figure it out. And uh, they're still asking like four times retail for things that are in stock on the Pokemon Center, in stock at Target still. There we go, we've got the Kleppa, another one that I was missing for the binder, adding two cards to the binder, almost a master set of celebrations. What is Kleppa hiding? Another full art Pikachu. How many pages of full art Pikachus will I end up with? before celebrations is over. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, I like to support shops that are also supporting collectors and they definitely have everything at the right price. Okay, two packs left 
of celebrations. Let's open these up. Can we possibly hit another classic collection? Already though, two of the cards that I needed for the binder, absolutely unreal. We got Zekrom, Dialga, Ooh, Xerneas hiding a full art Zama Zenta V right on. There is the code last pack magic from the box cutter ETB from GameStop. Very glad that I opened these instead of exchanging them for not box cutter ones. Like I said, just wasn't sure if there was anything else wrong with the boxes inside, but they were fire boxes. Here we go. Last pack magic Dialga Palkia. Oh, and a Reshiram again. They got me with the red. What is Reshiram hiding? The flying Pikachu V Max. All right, three cards added to the master set today. We are getting really, really close to finishing it. Let's drop this flying Pikachu V Max into a sleeve right on. I'm definitely going to have to open more celebrations. But as always, Polch Pals, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a sub on the channel. I post a new video every Wednesday and every Saturday. But until then, be safe, have fun, keep collecting, and I'll see you guys in these next videos.